Today we're going to be doing something a little different from the usual silent channels. We're going to be building this live. It's the 2019, I believe, or at least tw late 2018 set. It's a Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, um, the Speed Champions Edition. And we're going to be doing the full build live. And if you're watching this video, which you very likely aren't, but it's all brought to you by speed-champions.com, which is a really good site about Speed Champions. Here it is in late May 2019, work in progress. So we're just gonna get ahead and start the camera and start building. Um, first things about the set, I think the background looks like Daytona in Florida and that's where they actually launched the car back in early 2018, so it probably is. It's a cool background. I'm not a fan of the wheels, initial impression. I'm not a fan of the wheels, but we'll go for it. Still GM license. Usual opening on this back button, which then tears this open. Bit annoying for collectors, but then if you're a collector, you can go to the top. Which probably makes sense, because if you go on Amazon or eBay, there's a lot of these sets going for 90 to 100 pounds, so. Then, um, if you're American, it's like 100, 200 dollars. So that's my sense. Looks like the standard Speed Champions build here. You've got the base that we're then going to build up. So, nothing fancy. There's only one or two sets so far that I've encountered that, um, that have any different from the usual black base. You've got two sets of stickers on it, which is quite cool. Let you, let you have a look at the back for a second. So, the other set that I know that didn't come with a back base is this one that was bought part of the, um, the Porsche set that was bought out in 2018. So, this didn't actually start with a back base and that was a big surprise. Um, but you can tell this is built way differently to other Speed Champions ones. I'm not too sure, I don't know if they had a different designer or it had a bigger budget. But this is one of my favourite, apart from the wheels, they look a bit VW. But this didn't start with a black base, but it looks like the Chevrolet does start with the usual black base panel that we're going to build up on. So I imagine we're going to go for axles after this, two axles, build up around the wheels, build up in the middle, and then finish it off. But it's got two sticker sets, I'm guessing one's for the kind of outdoor bits that aren't part of the car. But let's go. So, booklet, actually a different backing image for the booklet. Or at least washed out in Photoshop. Usual kind of ads, picture of me not knowing what I'm doing in life. Okay, we can build the little doobie, so let's do that. Not too sure how most people do this. I know some people organise the sets and everything like that. Um, get all their parts in together in one place. I like the fear of thinking that you've lost parts. Um, you saw the website speed-champions.com, so that's a work in progress of the organisation. Our web-based backers um, are working on that. Um, we aim to have pretty much every set. I don't actually own every set of Speed Champions. Um, not for any specific reason, the early ones are hard to get hold of, um, so yeah, you're looking at paying quite a bit of money, even used for the early ones, you won't find them boxed, and if you did buy them boxed, you'd spend a ton of money on buying them, and then uh, we wouldn't be able to open them up and do these reviews. Well, we would be able to, but it'd be a bit of a shame because someone had obviously collected them and charged for a massive premium because they were boxed. And then we just mess it all up. So, I don't know. So, here's the dude. There's a pilot, pilot Lego. I'm going to try and adjust the camera. You're going to have to stay with me because this is my first ever video. Um, Probably not the greatest build set. Could have done it from a bubble or something like that. Here's the dude, we'll find this visor. Clear visor. You never know which way the visor goes on. But 
I always seem to manage to attach it the wrong way. There we go, so he's got his little Chevrolet racing kit on. And he's smiling. His helmet's on the wrong way. He's got a full face helmet. Um, let's bring that into focus. There you go, so you can see his little Chevrolet race suit. So, oh, let's go Chevrolet on the back as well. If we can bring that into focus somehow. There you go, Chevrolet racing. You can stand back there. I don't really judge these guys very well. If you're in the target age for these kits, you probably love them. So yeah, I'm not. Okay, so we start with a black four. So boom. Build out two on top of it. One thing you're going to find out about these is that I'm not actually very good at um, building them. Because it isn't a black four that you start with, it's a black one, two, three, it's a black six. There you go. Black six piece, the two on pointing out, either way. There you go, we managed to make it to instruction one without having a problem. So then we've got a yellow four piece on. I don't know how this long this would take. It's a good experiment to see. I could try speed building it, but I'm gonna make more mistakes than I usually do. Um, most people probably won't watch this at all. But if you do watch it and you make it to the end, which you probably won't, um, you'll find out how long it takes to build on these on average if you have learning difficulties like I do. Um, right. Boom. So we've got yellow underneath now, so we've got white part yellow four block, I'm putting a black two bit base on it. This is where I was talking about, if you've got an organized kit for your parts, you probably do a lot better. Where's the fun in that? Okie dokie, right, we're looking for one of these now. It goes into the middle there, like that. And sticks out beyond the white, which I'm assuming is cool. So we've got that. We haven't actually started with the first instructions of the black base, which is a kind of a change. Oh, but here comes the axle. So the axle is going to go like that. So yeah, that would either be the front or the back of the car. The very origins of the front or the back of the car there. Where do we go now? Oh, the black base comes into play at instruction eight. There you go. Instruction eight. So if you haven't had a speed champions kit before, you'll get used to this part. It pretty much forms the chassis for all of the sets so far. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it kit's priced 18 to 19 dollars uh, or 14 to 15 pounds. You can't really expect much more. So um, we're not gonna redesign them every time. Okay, so the other part goes across there. And the cream part goes there. Okay, and we're building up what looks to be side skirts next. So we've got two of these going somewhere. We've got one of these going in here. This is usually where the driver's seat gets sunk. Um, so I'm willing to bet that blue thing will make up a driver's seat, or at least part of a driver's seat. Um, I'm kind of new. I've seen these used in a few kits recently. You never really used them before. We'll try and lose them. Um, right, so we're just going to take this out of you and put these on the side. So there's um, four of these going on in total. They're going on the two side kits. Three. And the last one. Four. Okay, so we'll see. You build that out. It's got kind of two blue side skirts on it now. And we're going to put some structure on the front, which I think is that. blue on there. Um, so rather than just telling you exactly about the build, I can tell you a little bit about the car. 
Um, so it was kind of February 2018. They released it with pretty much this exact branding. So it's um, for the NASCAR Cup Series, this car. And obviously Lego liked it enough to license it. Um, it raced, it probably raced with more sponsors than this. I think it did race in a series and I've seen pictures of it with kind of, I know it's a Monster Energy branded series. So I'm kind of surprised they didn't have at least, um, we're flipping it over for an instruction 12 and we're putting some base to these side skirts. So you flip it over and you put that on and that on. So these, these parts are like this, they kind of go underneath and face like that. So put those on and put that one on. No, you don't put that one. If you put one on these, there we go. Okie dokie, so we put that now. So we've kind of got base to the side skirts now where I wanted to have more blue bits will attach. Um, we stay underneath and we go for a light grey one of these with a blue square part on. This is a bit I don't fully understand about how it works all the time with this kit because there's just some really needless parts. I don't know where they make up the um, kit number. So in this instruction, these are instructions 13. In one of these grey things, put a blue kind of solid square on, and then you put it on the front. So that looks like that. Um, and then you put a front axle on it, and it looks to it. So we put this on, and it kind of fits over there. Okay, so we have a front and back axle on the car now. Making good progress. Um, right, doesn't seem to be a huge amount of parts in this kit, and I know um, Speed Champions doesn't usually have a parts, but I'm making a lot of progress with this one. Anyway, so we stuck a front on it. I'm willing to put the front or attached to that, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, it's a Camaro, I think it's the XL, ZL1. Um, it's got 650 horsepower in real life. The Lego one has zero horsepower and it's pushing it. And um, it was at the Daytona 500 in February 2018, probably February 2019 as well. Not a massive fan of NASCAR, I'm more into GT racing. Um, try and go there with my family, so try and get across and see that. So you're gonna have to excuse my lack of NASCAR knowledge. What are you raving, Speed Champions fans? Um, right, the steering wheel's gone in, usually goes into that dip. All set's no different. And we're pretty much on track. Got a four, dark grey four. It goes across the back. So it builds up the back, a lot of the sets do this. They build up the back with solid bits because you need to get kind of, unless you're in, like a lot of the speed champions are supercars, so they got rear engines and stuff, so. They build up the back to give the cowling the space and everything like that, make it look good. Um, you got more parts, a lot of the Speed Champion stuff builds out. Um, so it builds out from the sides, so you've got a lot of stuff that goes out like this. I don't know what I'm doing, so that goes on the side, so you can attach more stuff, you're going to need that. You've got two black circular ones here. Quite hard doing this one handed and in view of the camera so like i said it's the, the first video of a build normally we just shakily show you around um, why are we doing this build because of speed-champions.com not to sound like an infomercial but you should go there and check out our reviews it is built out as a hobby site um, and hopefully you like it it's made it's a brilliant javascript so you'll like it so we've got two parts added here in that last instruction kind of fiddly building up the sides now really putting volume on the car i mean if you look at the box it does build quite high compared to the height when we're done with um other sets Let's see where we're at so these go on either side I do have two hands. Yeah. Makes for a more interesting channel building these one-handed, especially building techniques one-handed. 
Funny when he does that. So, while smashing the table, we look to. We've got a lot of colour coming in in Structure 19. Got yellow in front. I don't really know why they do that, whether it's for the build audience to a thing or to remove some of the monotony of just dark grey, like an entire set matching the colour of the car. So, got a yellow three piece on. Goes there. It's kind of sealing down the front because, as you saw, the front just came off on me. Should have put that bit first. And we've got two blue corners. We need to go from the yellow round onto the blacks. Destruction here while you get to listen to a, um, a train in the background. That's why you don't trust me to build you a Lego Speed Champions because we need to do a bit of our own destruction. Put this on there. Right. So if you're wondering what I did there, completely missed a part because I'm an idiot. Okay, so that builds all the time, and that goes back in. But maybe on Sunday this will happen to you. You build Lego and then realise you've got the wrong parts. Miss me all the time. So um, yeah, they did like a massive launch event for this car. I'm just reading about it. I think they launched it at Daytona. It looks like they launched it at Daytona. I mean, Daytona's 500's a massive thing. And to be fair to Lego, it has got some chunky tyres on it. It's a NASCAR cut car. Probably wouldn't be realistic to put road tyres on it. I'm just a fan of road tyres. Oh yeah. Right, we've got to the main part in any Speed Champions build. You've got these preset arches that they put on. And you literally just slap them onto the grey bits. All four of them go on at once. And you kind of start getting instant construction of the car, which is quite cool. I mean, if you've got a Technic set, you probably wouldn't be a massive fan of it. Just seeing how they go on at the back. See, he's putting the back on properly. A lot of errors in this set. Don't use this as a reference build. Use it as a, uh, a watch and then watch someone who actually knows how to build Lego or maybe get their ideas. So right we got all four on. That is a Lego set. So you're at instruction 21 now and we're doing okay. Not too sure what these parts are about kind of featured in a lot of speed champion sets recently this goes down to the front of the red i'd love to chat to someone who designs these i mean the technic ones are just a work of art although some bits are either a too fiddly to build or b just kind of don't match the car and you think they could have done better with normal lego bits but i guess they want to make it their own piece of art themselves Okay, we've got a weird bit on instruction 22. So, I'm building something that will go back in the car base, but one of those bits where you build it standalone. So I'll show you that. Um, two lots of blues either side. Black with hooks. I can't tell you when this will go live on YouTube. You'll be watching it if it has gone live on YouTube, so it's a self being question, but it's, I need to write a review for this set first and take some photos of it. I think I'm going and doing that in a tarmac car park. I think that'd be pretty cool. But I think if I this Lego, it looks a bit weird in real life, so I think I'll just suck it. Get over the social awkwardness. Um, right, so we're building up the arches now. Instruction 24. We've got a um, branded piece in here. You might have saw it fall out of the bag. 
I noticed it, I didn't mention anything. I was talking. Crap, I'm looking at a branded Chevrolet piece, if I can get that into focus. Quite cool. Um, one of your main hazards on the sets, one of the sets that you use. There's a few sets I built one recently that I think did it. I want to say it was the Mercedes AMG GT3, which I have the box for here. So, on a set like this, some of these parts actually say AMG on them. Or they're like branded Mercedes or something. Um, I think it's, I think you put the sticker on the grill. I think it might be the lights. There's, anyway, there's parts in there somewhere. Or it's definitely in some of the other recent Speed Champion sets that if they say like, oh, it's the Porsche 919 as well. There's bits with the Porsche logo on them. And if you use that part, it'll be a common part. And you can use that part in the set. And then you end up missing. Uh, Missing the part with the sticker on it, which doesn't look good. Right, so looks like we might have two of these. You've got the Chevrolet branded bit that goes on the back, start building up kind of a, a rear engine compartment and axle. Once they do that twice, I'm sure it will pop up twice. Got another one of these weird grey things. It goes on somewhere here in the back. Yep. Two black circles that seem to go here and here. I'm not too sure if that's meant to be the engine. Engine view shot. So that's what that looks like. And then we've got cool, so rear back is building up. I think this is the first NASCAR Cup car they've done. Um, I know they've done a Corvette before. Um, they did the Ford Mustang. They did the Ford Mustang in a big launch at the start of this year because the Ford Mustang the GT5 litre or something, it's around here somewhere. Um, that was a separate launch. That was a few years old. The new Mustang, I think it's like 2015 edition or something. It's definitely not the one where they've changed the lights. They'd, um, they launched that. And then when Technic, not Technic Expert, when Expert did launch their own one, that was a big deal. They don't make that a big deal. So you definitely had the Ford contingent made happy. Right, we've got another branded Chevrolet piece to find. If you want to give me a moment, I'll try and find it. I don't know what the other parts I need. I might as well look for them as well. Right, so to build up these branded Chevrolet parts, you need a blue two. And the Chevrolet part is a free bit blue. A Chevrolet ring on it, like that. You've already seen that, so we're not going to dwell on that. As time goes the other way, you put a blue flat four piece on it. And it just kind of builds into the car, which works quite well. Like that. Okay. So we're going good places. We've got two facing parts going on now. So let's get that on. If you've played with the Technic ones and you've played with the Speed Champions ones, you probably know that Technic is really, really good, but it takes up a huge amount of room and if you leave them built, and take up a huge amount of room and, and it feels a bit weird if you build Lego to then deconstruct it and take it apart and put it in its box again. So maybe it's just me who builds and then keeps them out. Definitely running out of space though. Um, right, we're building up what looks to be painted side skirts now. So I'll show you this part. This is instruction 29. I don't know whether we're halfway there. I don't know how many instructions we are. Probably would have been some good prep. Um, so you got a side skirt built up there, like a side panel of the door built up, and it's going to require a sticker, which is sticker 13. Sticker 13 being the bottom of the number five logo. The real car had a number eight on it, um, so I'm not too sure why they went for five with this one, but they did. So that is that. 
Never good with stickers. If you know someone with solid hands, get them to build it for you. Looks like it goes on the right hand side like this, builds up. So there'll be a top bit to that sticker, no doubt. And we're building it right now. So these look just look to attach to the actual part. So got one of these, which goes here. Two twos that face upwards, so doing it like this. And there's DJ Kelly, another one. Um, I'm not a fan of these side panels. Uh, nine, 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 nine. Um, right, stick at eight. So top bit of five, this bit. Try and get this right. I'm gonna take it out of you for a second while I do this. Yeah, I don't get why you couldn't just use one sticker per side panel for this because it doesn't look great when they don't join up. Some some people can do it really well, but when you get perfectionist right, we're gonna use sticker 18, it looks like a English leather center colour scheme from the 80s. Front panel. The actual car seemed to be a, a deeper blue than this. Yeah, it was deep metallic blue. I know Lego can't do metallic, so unfortunate. But the car does. The car looks very mean in real life. If you want to Google it, it's the 2018 Camaro XL um, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series sponsored by Monster. Nice and catchy. Print on what seems to be the black side skirts. I'm guessing. The, you'll see it in a second when I just get this flat bit on. I'm guessing that'll turn into an exhaust at some point. A side bit. Although the car just seems to have side skirts, doesn't it? It might have a rear exhaust, we'll find out. Got a custom made blue part here. There you go. It's quite common on the Speed Champions car. This will actually be the entire back of the car, it'll be, it looks like. So you build up the back. Lights are usually stickers. Chiron was an exception. There's a rubber band on the Chiron that makes the back lights, which was quite cool. Maybe that's set unique. I mentioned that in my review on speed-champions.com. Um, problem with the Chiron having a rubber band as a back is, say you keep the model for like 10, 15 years, and the rubber band goes. I think they gave you one spare rubber band in the kit, but. You have a car that all of a sudden doesn't have a backlight. Lego is made out of the extremely environmentally friendly plastic, so. Like that. Right, we've got sticker six. Which I'm trying to find. Sticker six goes across the back here. It's got the Camaro logo. Quite cool. And you've got two kind of little build up stickers either side, which is always a nightmare. So you've got stick of five. Oh, stick of five is the ZL1 logo. That's quite cool. It only goes on one side. I think I saw the road going ZL1. They're good with 20, must be good with 2017 now. I think there's a video of it on this channel. It's a cool looking car in real life. If not all practical. But what good car is practical anyway. Right, so we've got that. Um, looks like we're putting a Chevy logo on. Blacked out Chevy logo. If you've got a Tahoe Black Edition, if you're lucky enough to own one, nice. Um, you'll recognise this. Me and my brother were actually at the 24 hours of Daytona this year and we saw. Chevy Tahoe. We had a Chevy Tahoe that we were driving, but we saw a Chevy Tahoe Black Edition as well, which is kind of better uh, spec, which makes a lot of sense. It's quite a good looking car, but long story short, I cut all the bullshit out of that sentence. Um, it has a black logo rather than a normal logo to go with all the spec changes, and we're looking for another one of these. Seeing as I can't find it just now, I'll put two on, which is the rear lights. These are all set on the three, actually, so you put the number three on as the rear lights. 
Oh, let's put it on the NASCAR. On the NASCAR, the actual front seems to be on the press car, look like um, actual lights, but a lot of the NASCARs just use stickerings over space frames. You have to excuse me for the off camera work, I'm just trying to line up these stickers. So, there you go. Back is coming together. I just need to find another part. Hope I haven't lost it. Uh, it's entirely impossible, I have I? There we go. A lot to be said for the people who um, who know how to organise their stuff. Right, and then we've got number one. Sticker number one is used. Right, so we look to have a good back to the car. Instruction 37 now. Right, so we spin that round, putting a hook on it. Don't really care what's going on here. Don't know, uh, no. Using white squares here. Translucent squares. Given. Touching these and touching the other four block back to the guard and then touching a yellow block somewhere there it's one of those bits of building I don't really understand so at the back of the car you know, I'm building up all this stuff at the back just off camera it's just a bit fiddly what I would put on camera Big. Nobody needs to see this. Okay, we're at 32 minutes, and if you ask me, I would not say a speed champion set takes 32 minutes to build. And I think we're just about halfway there, which I would tell you a lot about my building skills. But the sets are actually quite long to build. I mean. No doubt that aims at a younger audience, so it's entirely possible. So, so no, £12, maybe a day's worth of building, I think you're going to get from it. I don't know, we'll see if it's more than out, right? So, we've got kind of the ladder pieces. There you go, it makes like a rear, I don't know, rear air vents. They're not really, it's not really a rear diffuser, is it? Got a lot of building on the back here. We've got some more building on the back to come. So we've got three wedge pieces up to the back. I'll show you them again. I have to pick up the kit to do it. Oh, it's rear wing. It's quite well done. Like that. And then there's a logo to go on here. Number four. Chevrolet. I want to say it did it just to trick your OCD, but it's just my inability to hold anything straight. And we'll see where we're at. Now it's a great time to give you a break in the video, and we'll come back. So, after a tiny delay, we're back. I had to do some fairly fundamental changes to the set there, um, because I put a part on wrong in the back. So I didn't actually go anywhere, but I just had to fix it. It was going to be boring. So I had to take these back parts apart. So don't get that white bit, the flat wrong. There has to be a gap for the back to fit on. It looks pretty good. The back is on. 
Um, so yeah, if you get that wrong, like I did, you have to go all the way back to instruction 29 and unbuild the rear end of your car, which is fine. It's not the first time I've messed up on these sets quite heavily. Um, right, so it looks like we're doing the other side now, so let's go about doing that, so yellow. Flat places, okay. Bang. This is quite the easy part once you get used to it because you just rebuild on the other side. Which is fine. It doesn't present a massive amount of challenge, but it does if you're me apparently. Um, stick that on. Right, so we've got the side panels being built up. Right. I'm not a huge fan of these side panels being used, but I'm sure they go have their reasons for it. And so, so far, impressions is good. I like it, it looks good. I, I like the wing. I think the Corvette may have had that. I've said I haven't seen it before. I built Corvette recently that I bought off eBay, one of the early Speed Champion sets. Um, right, that's ticket number eight, so we've got to make that five. Let's see if we can do it live on camera. I can't, my hands are too shaky. Um, put that so, did not think this video would run to over half an hour. Probably should have eaten before filming it. Right, that's ticket 21. Maybe it is an exhaust one side because we're using difference here. We're using a flat panel on the back of the black here and then a front panel. So this side doesn't have the little two bit connector. Building this bit up. Not too sure which bit we're building up here. We'll find out. Doesn't look to be a huge amount of parts left, but we don't have a front to the car, so we can but find out. See what this becomes. Uh, engine shrouds and back three quarter glasses from the looks of it. Alright, we build up from these blues, but thing that's pointing up like that the back there and this goes like that I'm not sure you're sure why they put these on hinges again something that would probably work for Lego which I don't so yeah I'm pretty sure The hinge has got that against it. Right, and this goes in. Oh, they use the hinge to get an angle on the rear. I'm sure you could do that in another way. There you go, so rear window can go like that. Right, we're building another engine shroud, so. 
quite simple. Didn't realise this video would be so boring for you to watch. Hopefully it's not boring. If you like it, at least you get an idea of what it takes to build. We've got wheel covers. They're going to come up soon. I haven't seen them before. No, it's like pretty unique part of this set. set that I run because I can't put them on properly. I don't really mind, I still appreciate the sets. I know some people do really well with stuff they like to build the sets and then I'd take the stickers off. Oh complete colour swaps, I like the idea of that. Um okay it's got a roll cage. Very cool. So I'm gonna build a roll cage now. It starts off with this panel. I haven't seen this before on a set. Um to be completely honest with you. We'll see how it looks. Yes, we will. I might have to put some parts back that need to go on. Oh, I forgot about and the engine. Right, engine's back in. Uh, right, another one of these. I think that's what that is. Take quite a while to upload to YouTube. It looks like it could hit the hour mark then. I'm not trying to drag it out, trust me. I did not think it would take over an hour to build these sets, but we're getting an average build time. So everyone wins anyway. So the hook we've got the front, we've got this kind of like roll cage body thing now. I'm not really sure how it works, but I'm going to find out. It just seems to sit in there. Okay. It's kind of fiddly. Right, from there, and then this comes down. That back bit doesn't clip to anything, which is hmm, suspecting. And it kind of sealed in by the back window, which is okay, I guess. Right, two black bits together. <laughs> Building up the front now. Back's almost done. A lot of those stickers left, but let's speak of the front. Build up the front with these two circular bits on either side. Get those on. Got back facing one of these. And black cowling. I haven't seen this part. This appears to be a custom part, maybe not for this set. Maybe Star Wars or something. Uh, not too sure where it's going. Let's double check that. You can definitely get a hint of grey from it. Let's put it there. If it all goes wrong. We can build it. Why not? Why not? Because and so this is the engine mount bit I was telling you about. I realise this isn't a rear engine car. I'm talking to you about rear engine cars a lot. Nice car, probably not a rear engine car. In fact, it's definitely not a rear engine car. No, I shouldn't know that. The pressures of the camera. Hopefully you can see. Let me just check the camera. Yeah, you can see those going on. It's filmed on an iPhone. Professional media setup. Just in case you're wondering about doing your own YouTube videos, which you're probably not after watching this. Um, right, 
these engine bits are always a bit, this is where it gets a bit tedious. It, it really makes the set with the looks. And it will add. Yeah, it looks good, but you've got a lot of parts with a lot of stickers. As I've said before, I'm not a fan of stickers, so. That's why I don't like them. There's probably a lot of people out there who really enjoy the sticker part. I enjoy it. If you've got the Lego Expert F40, that's one of the sets I've most enjoyed building, or they did an Aston Martin one that was a little bit less fun because it was a lot of bricks. Um, I don't have a lot of love for the DB5 either. I don't know, that's sacrilege, especially because I'm speaking in English accent, but just never enough. Thing. Right, we're getting a sun riser kind of thing going across the windshield here. Come on, right? The Chevrolet logos. Looks good. Then we've got the top plate, kind of makes the roof. I like the sticker for this. Got the number on it. Maybe there was a number five. Maybe they launched two cars and there was a number eight and a number five. Only Alex Bowman um, drove one of these. The only things I know about NASCAR are the Earnhards and Hendrick Racing and all that kind of stuff. Chip Ganassi. Crucial, crucial part of anything. Anything is a chip ganassi. Right, we've got window parts here, 27. So okay, so the second lot of stickers does actually have parts. So they've got window nay, which is quite cool. Um, quite a cool addition. Like the work they put into these cars to you know, a lot of the custom parts. The stickers obviously is always custom, so they can go wild with the stickers, I guess. And I appear to have just messed up quite badly. And I don't really know how. 26. I would say it's a good time for a break. <laughs> At least you get a realistic thing. So, problem we have here is we've got this window. We're trying to find out what goes on where. We seemingly have both of these want to go the exact same way. Which I don't really get. Ah, uh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Alright. No, really, it's off. Because they're both for the one window. 26 is a completely different sticker. Okay, for some reason we've got two lots of these. I'm guessing because other people have made that error. There you go, so 26 is actually kind of like a driver's viewpoint. 27 is nay. And that's the error I made there. Don't make it yourself. Don't be like me. Right, front windscreen goes on, quite simple, just connect to the front. Looks quite good. Uh, front of the car being built up now. Let's do this super quick. Right, got a front bit, put a blue bit on. Two of these are the side and the back, I'm guessing. Right, more stickers. 1920. Okay, so lights on this set are stickers only. Quite cool on like the center and McLaren other sets where they do lights of the um, actual Lego pieces they try and replicate it. It feels more authentic when they do that. It's just my feeling. Mileage may vary. Okay, so we've got front lights on. And then we look to build up the set some more. 
So the black piece, I'm quite cool with ZL1 bumper. Looks so cool coming off. So we've got the black bit there. Let's do 23. Building up the slide of the grill now. Sides. I wrote down to two stickers. I'll take a switch on. We need a better grill on the bonnet. We can but see. Yeah, that'll be 24 and 25, won't it? Yep. This is the front done. Might be a little connector piece around the back to stick it onto the chassis. No, oh, these are our front diffuser. Quite like these when they do them. These are one of the bits that'll come off your car if you drop it. So always be careful about losing your front diffuser. And if you have a real Camaro Z01, they knock the front diffuser off because I imagine it's extremely expensive. <laughs> or just lose the front of your car like that. Um, connections are always a bit, you don't want to break it. You always put them on tough, right? I think this is the final sticker 22. Put that on there. Looks quite cool. Right. I think this set would look really good in normal tyres. That's just me. Tyres are quite straightforward go to speed champion so you get the rim I actually bring that into view force it onto a tire which can take longer than you think and put it on an axle why is it getting a blister and on this set I'm not too sure what the strange thing about it is. This goes on. Okay, so it's got kind of like wheel covers on this set. They're quite cool. They're not the worst way to have done it, actually, to be fair. Um, I guess painted tyres at the end of the day when they're making these rubber parts for all of the Speed Champion sets and probably other kind of cars. Doesn't make a lot of sense. So they went to paint the tires, but I like that. That's quite a cool custom part, actually. The plastic tire covers. They're custom to this set, unless they're going to do any more Camaro stuff. Clearly, so give you a close up of what these look like. So they just literally fit into the wheels. And you have custom wheels. That's a normal Lego wheel. I actually thought it was going to be um, different wheels when I looked at the outside of the box. I like the way they've done that. It does look good. There you go, they've changed my mind completely on the, the wheels. That was what was putting me off this set, actually. Um, I wasn't gonna buy it for a long time because of the wheels, I didn't like them. But then I saw it, it was in Sainsbury's, which is a shop over here, and I've been trying to make sure I had the full collection, so I'll do that. So that's the car done. Um, you can build the fuel can. Let's build the fuel can just for completion's sake. So the fuel can is two of these together. A cap on the top. There needs to be a cap on the top. Nice to decide. The sticker that goes on it, yeah. The fuel sticker that goes around it. And 
and this dude can refill the cart. Ah, so they're both stick out. Okay, so. I was trying to hide it from you, but there's a little part here, and I thought I'd build it wrong. So the fuel sticker goes on the other way around. So it's upright. When he's refueling, that makes sense. So this dude can grab this thing. Health and safety does not apply. And he can refuel the car. Cool. Which comes off. Yeah, so there you go, you got 61 main instructions. Four for this little guy and his fuel cam. And a few spare parts are I missed the front cowling off. It's my bad. I think those are spare parts for us. But there you go, that is a full build of the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 LEGO Speed Champions. I'm going to put a link in the description to the review of it on speed-champions.com. If you do get a chance, check it out. And that is nigh on an hour, so maybe a minute per instruction. It's a good set, I'd recommend it. I originally was a bit hesitant about it because of the the wheels but I actually really like it I'll definitely put it on display so if you um, liked it please leave a like and if you didn't like it enough people leave dislikes so don't leave a dislike but in the meantime check out speed-champions.com and have a good day